and welcome back to Wildflower Valley Farm. I just wanted to do an update video today on some of the things that I have shown you all in some of our previous videos so you can kind of see how those things are progressing. So I'm going to just kind of walk around and show you um, the chickens and the rabbits and when I get back inside I'll show you how the seed starting is coming along. The chickens, they are still working on the garden, diligently pulling my weeds for me. I just moved them so they have a fresh spot of new greens to work on today. They're enjoying that. And the garden itself, where they have been, you can see they've done an excellent job of clearing out most of the weeds. Some of the grass is trying to grow back in places where they have been, but that's okay. They did the hardest part of the work. So when I get ready to plant here very soon, there won't be as much for me to do. They did not do a great job of cleaning up the food scraps that I've been giving them, but that's because there's only two chickens and our household produces a lot more peelings and, and eggshells and things like that than they are able to consume. Of course, it's not just peelings and eggshells. There was food scraps in there, and chickens can eat pretty much anything that humans can eat, and anything they can't eat, they will leave alone for the most part. I don't put anything in there that might be poisonous, but... We really don't eat anything in our household that I'm aware of that would be poisonous for chickens. This is my raised bed. I had some plants here that I was trying to winter over, but those three weeks of freezing cold temperatures did not do well for my chard. So I'll be starting from scratch with that this year, but it grows very well and very fast, so that shouldn't be a difficult thing to replace. I am super excited to see green grass around the farm too. Even though this is weeds, it is greening up nicely. These are actually things that I will be able to feed to the rabbits. So that's another reason why I'm so excited because I love to feed them fresh green things. Not only do they enjoy it, but it cuts down on our feed bill. We don't have to feed as much pellets. Some of my herbs are coming back. This catnip is now going on year number three. These sticks right here are cuttings off of our peach tree where I was trimming some things. And the little buds on them look like they survived the, the damage of being cut off the tree. So I just stuck them in some dirt to see if they would sprout. Partly because I'm going to be severely cutting on this tree. It just got too big, bigger than I wanted it to be and it is casting too much shade on the garden. I'm gonna be cutting it, and because I have waited too long to do that, I should have done it back in January, it may kill the tree, but it is in the way. It can't stay here, so if it kills it, then it kills it. And it's unfortunate, but sometimes that's the way things go around the farm. But hopefully some of these smaller cuttings that I stuck in the dirt here will take root and maybe survive and then I can just plant a new tree. The rabbit that I was treating for ear mites, his ear is still droopy even though it's very clean inside. So I'm not sure if he is irritated by something in his ear or if it's just the scaly skin that he still has where the new skin and fur has yet to grow back on his ear. So. Um, just as a precaution, I am still treating him every other day with the olive oil to be sure that those ear mites do not come back. So hopefully his ear will clear up fairly soon. This is Casper and Bindi. Casper is our oldest cat. Bindi is not far behind him. They are the mousers on the farm. We have a few other stray cats that I like to refer to as not my cats because I did not adopt them, but they have adopted me. That's okay. They're helping to keep the rodent population down, so they are welcome to stay here. The girls that I bought as part of that large rabbit purchase that I made over the weekend. They are super friendly. They enjoy being pet and touched. And I love the fact that they like to be pet. I like to have docile, tame rabbits and not wild, crazy rabbits. I've had some wild, crazy ones in the past, and they are not fun to work with. But these girls are very gentle and seem to very much enjoy being handled. 
which make them a lot easier to work with and make me super excited that I was able to get them. That'd be a great addition to my herd here. And then next to them are the babies. They seem to be thriving. They like the camera. The bowls that I put in here for their food did not work out very well because they kept sitting in the bowls and peeing and pooping in them. So I put J feeders here instead. And so far that's working out much better. They're not able to actually sit in the feeders. Can't really get a good shot of them here, but they're not able to sit in the feeders, which keeps them from using the bathroom in their food. So they don't waste anywhere near as much feed this way. It's very helpful. The water setup is working great. I still need to water them this evening. They, um, the bot these bottles are not leaking as bad as I was afraid they would. This bottle, um, is leaking enough that it is empty by the end of the day, but this bottle here is still half full from the day that I set this cage up, so it's really not leaking much at all, and that's a great thing. But I am keeping water. I haven't filled them up this evening yet, but I am keeping water in these bowls as well. And they are learning how to drink from the bowls, which um, I feel like rabbits drink from bowls much better than they do from bottles. Anyway, I feel like they drink more water, which is good for them. And then over here, I have these two rabbits that I have put together this afternoon for breeding purposes. Um, they need to be supervised, so I'm staying close enough to make sure I'm aware of what they're doing. When you put two rabbits together to breed, you have to make sure that the doe does not attack the buck. That does happen sometimes. So I'm going to stay with them and supervise, but hopefully, um, a month from now, hopefully I'll be able to update you all on some babies. So the seeds that I started a few days ago are doing super well. We are on day four since I planted them. And some of the things that um, haven't sprouted yet, I kind of didn't expect to. They th they take longer to sprout, but some of the greens, that's the, the red sorrel. That is um, the cabbage and kale and one more thing I can't remember right this minute. Oh, the red mustard has already sprouted. And there's a little green sprout of the kohlrabi right there as well. Oh, it looks like there's more than one. So those are doing super well. Some of these plastic containers got a little too hot so I opened them up to let them air out and I can close them if it turns off to be cooler weather like I think that it may next week but those are doing super well so that is all for today's video if you enjoyed it click the like button down below that thumbs up button of course if you didn't enjoy it feel free to click the thumbs down button instead if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and the bell icon right beside it so that you will be notified whenever we upload something new. You can also visit us on our social media accounts at Facebook and Instagram, and I will put links to those in the description below. If you have any comments or questions about today's video, or even ideas and suggestions for more things that you would like to see from us around the farm in the future, comment those down below as well because we do read all of those. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.